How's it going fellow foxes? My name is Soledo and today we'll be playing Diggy's Adventure. If you want to play along, there will be a sponsored download link below in the description to which you can download Diggy's Adventure totally for free on Android or iOS. Diggy's Adventure is a very unique puzzle adventure game which I would like to introduce to you. So basically we're this little character called Diggy and he came together with this professor and his robot on this boat. But sadly enough, there was a big storm at sea and the boat crashed into the shore of Egypt. And uh, now he's kind of in some trouble, so we'll have to get him out of this trouble through all kinds of puzzles. It's a very cool game, so I suggest we jump right into it. I want to have to talk to this professor here uh, to the right. Uh, so we can't just enter the desert without a map. So basically, uh, he, he tells me, well, the ship has seen better days, some helmsman you are. You crashed this so hard the ship was thrown clear onto the beach. To get us back to civilization, we're gonna need our map. Make yourself useful, dig into the ship and find it. And my notes perhaps. So basically we'll have to take a look in the ship to find the map of Egypt and the professor's diary. So let's take a look if we can find those valuable items. Here we are, this presents our ship. And so basically you can uh, move Diggy by clicking onto the map and you can dig away uh, obstacles like this. Not all obstacles can be dug out, but like uh, this dirt or sand, I'm not really sure this can definitely be dug out. Each time you dig something like that, you get three coins, five experience, which is also gonna cost you five energy. So you kind of have to manage your energy uh, efficiently. So there we have the map of Egypt. Here we have the professor's diary. That's all we need, so we'll click out to the left here. Uh, great, you found all that we needed, and now let's have a chat uh, back in the camp. So now we're heading back to the camp, and that should be our first mission completed, if I'm correct. So the professor is taking a note at his, at his looks here. He's taking a look at his notes, and there we go. We finished our first quest. We get some coins, some experience. That's all very helpful. So here's Diggy's uh, diary, and basically, um, you have uh, the diary of Diggy, and you have the f his father's uh, uh, his father's uh, diary. Right? So, so yeah, this is his father's diary. Adventures calling at the shores of Egypt. I'm heading out to explore Luxor. Get all my things and follow me. Oh, I almost forgot. Tell Professor he's not allowed to touch my ship. He almost broke it in half the last time, most importantly. Take good care of my robot Rusty. Don't lose him or let him be damaged in any way. He's too important, Dad. So that's what, what uh, is in his dad's journal. So let's take a look at his own journal. Such bad luck. At the shores of Egypt. Dear Diary, it's me, Diggy. My story begins here with the disappearance of the Gerius. A. Degarius, the best adventurer on the planet, and my father. He left to explore an ancient Egypt mystery, but it's been days since we last heard from him. Professor Robot Rusty and I are going to Egypt to find him. Okay. So let's talk with the professor here. Great, we're not that far from Luxor. We are supposed to meet Linda there. Merchant in the city may have some information about her whereabouts. So basically, Linda is kind of uh, the assistant. Uh, to Diggy's dad and so she might have some extra information on where we can find him. So this is the merchant which you have to talk uh, against. So he's staying, stay let me tell you what I need help with. So Linda, hmm, yes I remember her. She was the foreign girl. She took off to explore some nearby caves but there was a sudden sandstorm and she hasn't returned yet. Okay so let's go to Linda's trap and see if we can actually find her. There we go. So here we are in this room, so I suggest you first completely clear off this room because there might be things hidden perhaps under uh, under the sand or something. And also it gives you coins and experience, so that's also very important. So that's one of the reasons why I like to clear out rooms completely. So there we go. We've cleared this room and we even got a stone for that. So yeah, certain um, blocks contain valuable... Um, materials which you're gonna have to use later on in the game uh, to build and upgrade your base because basically you're gonna have a base and you, you can do all kinds of cool stuff there I'm not really sure uh, I haven't played this game for too long uh, but no it's quite important having all these materials so let's clear up some more of these rocks here and we also got some energy for that so that's always nice there we go another stone now let's move here let's dig this out and what do we see? It's Linda over there. So we definitely want to get to her. There we go. 
But the problem is like these are all traps here, so we can't directly go to Linda. Uh, so we're gonna first have to uh, follow this path to find her. And hopefully this path will lead us to her, but we can't just go directly to her, sadly enough. Oh, we just leveled up. We got 100 coins, 10 gems, and a lot of exper energy. And also a ton of new items which you can build in our base. So a lot of flowers, apparently. But like this globe and a barrel are very useful items. So uh, there we go. Let's move on here and see if we can reach Linda. Okay, it seems like we're heading in the right direction, so we should reach her pretty soon. Yeah, there we go. We're almost there. Two more blocks to go and then we can talk to our lovely Linda. There we go. One more block to dig out. And let's talk to Linda here. Let's see what she has to say. Thanks, Diggy. I wouldn't have escaped on my own. Maybe you should return to the camp now, okay? So let's head back to the camp and hopefully Linda will come with us to tell us a little bit more about where my dad is. So let's t talk to Linda here. Oh my savior, just take me back to the camp. Yeah, you're already back at the camp, Linda. Where is Linda? Congratulations, you have finished another quest. We got even a watermelon for that. That must be pretty awesome. There we go. Rusty and pieces at the shores of Egypt our search for my father has started off on the wrong foot First the storm hit our ship and now robot rusty one of my father's most treasured artifacts Broken to pieces during the crash. I swear I will put him back together. I won't let that down Okay, so basically when we crashed at the shores of Egypt Rusty flew off the boat and now he's somewhere hidden in the sand and we need to find him so let's talk with Linda, perhaps she know where Robot Rusty is. So basically, we need a robot to operate the elevator to the camp underground. Find the one that got smashed during your shipwreck. So he smashed into three pieces. I'm going to have to find all three of them to uh, make him one again. So here we are back at the ship. But as you can see, there is a boulder in our way. So we're going to have to push this boulder out of the way so we can dig to this other room. There we go. One more push. And now dig this open. There's a sign here, so we should probably probably read that first. Dig through the tiles until we find all three pieces of the robot. Okay, so it's time to do some digging, I suppose. There we go. That's a robot head. Those are his torso, so I think we still need to find his limbs. His limbs should be here. Oh no, actually I think we got all three pieces, I'm correct. Thank you for saving this old trash can. Um, anyway, to the camp! Yeah, let's see. So basically we definitely needed Robot Rusty because he can operate this elevator so we can access the, uh, our base basically. So let's talk to the professor here and see what he has to say. Finally, we can start working on what we came for. So we completed the robot quest, some gold, some experience. It's all very awesome. Finding Linda, Luxor Town. Professor and I have finally made it to the Luxor Harbor. If it hadn't been for that storm, we'd have made it here much sooner. I hope my father's assistant Linda isn't too angry with us. At least we got her alive. And now we can set off to look for my father. I hope he's okay. Okay. So that's level three. A lot of new uh, cactus, apparently, which we can build in our base, which is pretty awesome. So let's talk to the professor. Preparing equipment. You look a little lost, Sonny. Perhaps you should run to the shop and get yourself a globe. This one's got a special abilities too. It will help you regain energy a bit quicker. Okay, so we'll have to build a globe here, guys. So we head back to the shop. And we want to pick us ourselves up a globe, which is going to cost us 10, 100 coins. So we're gonna place the globe over here, nicely in our base. Repair and equipment, some experience on golds, I love it. 
Settling in our camp, it's finally starting to feel like home. I had to dig out the dirt so we could set up some equipment, but it's worth it. I will, it will help me regain my energy faster and store more of it. Good thing I had Lena here to help me. I hope she never reads this. She'll be so smug. Okay, so once again, talking to the professor. Lumber is one of the most important building materials. We will need lots of it to expand and improve our camp. Now go and find some planks. Okay, so basically now we'll be going to the abandoned tunnel and I think this is a resource site. So basically, as you can see, there are planks scattered around this, uh, this base basically. And I think once we have dug out this entire uh, base, uh, we will be able to access it uh, once again and the lumber will replenish if I'm correct. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's how this works. So let's dig out another plank over here. I think we need three planks uh, because we'll use those planks to build a barrel. Hard work in mines, abandoned tunnel. I will need lots of materials to improve my camp. These mines are perfect for getting materials. Step one, clear out a mine. Step two, wait a while. Step three, come back and mine again and again and again. Okay, so if I'm correct, after mining this one, uh, we should have enough materials here. Let's pick up the lumber. Oh, I think we might actually had enough because every plank gives us two lumber and we only need a tree. Now that you have the material, let's go to the shop to buy a brand new barrel for your camp underground. Okay, so let's head to this camp here and uh, build ourselves a sweet, lovely barrel. So first we're gonna have to head to the shop here and pick up a barrel, which is gonna cost us three planks. We'll place it over here. The last empty spot in our base, there we go. Energy supply, congratulations, you have finished another quest and we get some kind of uh, stew, some, uh, some mushroom stew, I suppose. Preparations, our camp. I can see now that we will need way more equipment if I am to get all this work done. I have built a barrel to give me more stored energy for digging. I wonder what else I can get to help me. Okay. So once again, we're gonna have to talk to the professor here, see what he has to say. To get more space in your camp on the ground, you need to remove the debris from the equipment slots. Chop, chop, go remove the first one. Okay, this shouldn't be very hard. Uh, let's demolish this one. Explode it, we're gonna pay 100 gems for that. I think that's the best option because we only have uh, 10 gems. So coins would be the preferred option here, I suppose. So clear the camp on the ground, congratulations, you have finished another quest. We get 20 mushrooms, 4 herbs and 30 experience for that, that's quite awesome. Expanding the camp, our camp. Cleaning out the dirt in the camp is hard work, but someone's gotta do it. The more space I clear, the more equipment I can build to help me regain and store my energy for more digging. I, I gotta clean the dirt as often as possible. Sauté de Luxor. At Luxor, a new visitor has wandered into the camp and she seems to have brought a whole kitchen with her. I have to find out what is going on. Okay, so there is a new visitor here at the camp and she's all the way to the right and let's have a talk with her to see what she has to say. Hello, adventurer. You must be starving. Why don't you make yourself a little something to eat? Okay, so let's see what this is all about. Hi, I'm Jenny the Cook. Digging requires a lot of energy and there's no better way to refill it than with delicious food. The kitchen is a place where you can create consumables that will give you energy. Do it as often as you can. Okay, so our mission is to produce one fried mushrooms. So let's head to the kitchen and we have one pot, one kitchen pot that is idle. So you can select a recipe uh, to cook us something. We're gonna uh, do this, these fried mushrooms. Fried mushrooms, delicious mushrooms. I hope they are not poisonous. I don't think they are, but they will give us 30 additional energy and they cost five mushrooms and one herb to uh, produce. It's also going to take 30 minutes and it's quite a while. So let's start the production of these fried mushrooms. So it seems like we'll have to wait half an hour uh, before this mission will be completed. Uh, so in the meantime, we have a little bit of time to talk to the professor because I think he also has another quest for us while we wait for uh, the fried mushrooms to produce. Finding father. Well, since we've settled in a bit, I think it's time to start looking for your lost father, Digerius. The person that should know the most is definitely my assistant, Linda. She was your father's contact after all. Go and talk to her. She should help you out. Okay, so let's talk to Linda here. She's right next to the professor. And let's see what she has to say. 
What a crazy couple of weeks, huh? First your father ran off, then some shady fellow started following me and trapped me in that ruin. That's why I don't want to go back to town. Anyway, you came to find your father. I know where he was digging, so surely he will be there. So, uh, find assistant Johnny. So basically, we're gonna have to go to the Gears excavation site and talk to his assistant Johnny. So, there we go. Let's see if we can find uh, Johnny here. So, it seems like we're gonna have to do tons of digging, but that's no problem. We got a lot of stored up energy, and this will gain us a lot of experience and coins, so that's quite neat. Let's keep on digging here to see if we can find the assistant. Oh, we get some berries and a watermelon from that. That's quite nice. Wow. Oh, and we even leveled up. There we go. We leveled up. We got some flour, uh, some apples, and we have a whole lot of new decorations which we can implement in our base. Also, it seems like we have discovered some kind of river with a lot of exotic animals. I'm seeing a crocodile and a frog. That's kind of unique. Too bad we can't get there, perhaps you were able to catch these animals, but it doesn't seem that that will be an option here. Hmm. Let's take a look at our inventory, and perhaps... Um, if I'm correct, we have collected lots of stones, so perhaps, I know... Can we use this stone to cross a river? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, that would have been a, new, a unique option, but and I'm not really sure that that would be an option. I don't think so. So we'll just keep on digging here. Also, besides the animals, there's nothing really to do on the other side, so it's probably not really necessary to go there. It's probably just like uh, aesthetic to make the game more cool to look at you know so we have come to a new room here and there's a ladder which will bring us to another level we'll definitely take that ladder but first i want to fully clear out this room as you can see there's also some lumber here so i definitely want to pick that up there we go let's mine this lumber there's one on the other side too we'll pick this one up also there we go, and there's one more block here which we have to dig out and then we can descend on this ladder. There we go, let's see what this level has in store for us. There we go, a tons of more digging to do here apparently. Um, so basically like these swords, or these bars, I'm not really sure what they're called, they are blocking my path. So. I hope this sign will explain how we can get rid of it. So basically, pull the sandy stone on the green symbol. Okay. So we'll definitely do that. But first, I'm gonna clear out this room a little bit more. There we go. We're almost there. And this one is the last one in this room. So now we can uh, pull this stone to this side. And that should probably activate some sort of mechanism which will uh, open up the gate. And yes, indeed it did. Wow. And we encounter such a strange room here. There's like this kind of sunlight beamer, laser beamer. I'm not really sure what it is. Hmm. But it seems like we're gonna have to dig out this space. So let's just do that and see what happens, right? Hopefully, uh, Diggy will not get burned by that laser. Okay. So basically it just extends the laser, so let's dig this out too, there we go. Okay, so let's clear out this room, we're almost there. And it seems like we're, we'll have to point a laser at this other device in the other room, and that will probably activate another, another mechanism, which will uh, open up another path for us to take. So. Let's take this lumber quickly here, there we go, and now keep on digging so this laser can reach that other device. There we go. Okay, we're getting there. It has reached that other device. Oh, and it seems like we leveled up level 5 already, this is getting quite fast. We have 
us ton more of decorations apparently, not really sure if these are useful upgrades, and we also get a ton of useful rewards. So let's continue to dig out this room here, we're almost there. There's a little bit more stuff left here which we have to dig out, and as you can see the assistant Johnny is already waiting there for us so we should get moving quite quickly here. So. There's two more things for us to clean up here, and then we can go talk to the assistant Johnny. We get some berries. So it, I think it's really important to clean out the entire room because these tiles often have very valuable uh, materials, which I think will come in handy and make our life a ton easier in later uh, quests and missions. So there we go. As you probably might have noticed also, uh, the puzzles for now has been quite have been quite easy but I know for sure that puzzles get a ton more difficult uh, than than these early ones they're just to introduce game mechanics basically and they will become a lot more interesting so there's a bat over here but I'm not I don't think that there's anything special so there we go that was the last block we had to dig out and now it's talk to time to talk to Johnny he's saying first bands attacked then we find this place is haunted so I hit I hate this, I'm going home. So, uh, Johnny is going home. Well, that was odd. Anyway, I guess I should return to the comp and talk to Linda. So yeah, let's head back to Linda and tell her what ha what's happened. There we go, let's talk to Linda here. She what she has to say. You look puzzled, Diggy. Finding Father, congratulations, you have finished another quest. There we go, we got a ton of rewards once again for that. We're already recording for about 22 minutes, so I think that's pretty long enough for an episode. You guys now must have a pretty clear understanding of the basics of Diggy's adventure. Um, I'm definitely going to make more episodes on this game, I like it a lot, and uh, it's going to be get pretty challenging pretty soon, I suppose. So. If you liked this episode, definitely drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to get updated on future Diggy's adventure content. Also, don't forget, this was a sponsored video and there will be a download link below in the description to which you can download this game totally for free on Android or iOS. Thank you very much for watching, stay awesome fellow foxes and see you next time.